Hi everybody! So it's been a week since my last video and today I'm going to give you another weight loss update and I'm also going to later on in the video I'm going to um, give you guys some examples of um, what my day looked like in terms of food so you guys have an idea of um, what I've been eating and um, how much food I eat. So for last week I weighed in at 165 this morning I weighed in at 163 so that's another two pound loss and I'm so happy about that I hope I can maintain that um, two pound loss per week so we'll see how it goes okay so in terms of what I've been eating um, I tried to remember uh, um, what I eat the past few days so that I can give you guys some examples okay so let's start with yesterday since it's probably um, the one I can remember the most. So yesterday, I had, okay, yesterday I had, for my first meal, it was at lunchtime, and I had tortellini with roasted chicken breast, and it was half. Um, and altogether, that was about, about 13 points, and that is a lot, but... Um, lunch is usually my biggest meal anyway. Oh, and by the way, I don't usually have breakfast. I think for breakfast, just before I left, sorry, okay, let me start all over again. I'm going to start from the very, very beginning, like the very first thing that I ate yesterday. Okay, so in the morning, just before I left for school, I had like a piece of chicken. It was, I had two bites of chicken breast, so that was probably just like a point or something. And then for lunch, at around 12 o'clock, I had um, tortellini pasta with uh, half a chicken, half roasted chicken breast. And um, I'm going to tell you guys this new recipe that I've been using for a pasta, and it's, it's my favorite. So I'll let you guys know at the end of the video. So that was for my lunch, the tortellini pasta with um, roasted chicken breast. Um, um, three hours later, which is not exactly my dinner, it's like the meal before my dinner, I guess it's my snack, I had um, steamed vegetables and it was it's just one of those that you get in packs, the green peas, corn, um, carrots and um, string beans that they're all chopped up. I just steamed that and I put a little bit of oyster sauce, which is I think 25 calories per tablespoon, so there's practically no points in that so I had that for um, I guess my pre-dinner meal and then for dinner which is about another three hours later I had six uh, six dumplings that I cooked my myself and it had about two maybe two tablespoons of oil so altogether it came to the, the pot stickers I mean they it came to maybe seven points so I was well within my points yesterday, um, so that was good. Let's see, the day before yesterday, I, I've been having that same kind of meal plan the past couple of days. Um, also another thing, when I, oh, sorry, erase that, I'm not on top. I don't know what I was going to say, but okay, so for other days, I would have, um, before I leave for school, I would have a pizza pocket. I know it's not the healthiest thing, but I would just have one, so that's six points, and I would have it with, um, I always have something with vegetables to, to fill it up, so something like a small pizza pocket, obviously it's not going to fill me up on its own, so I would usually have it with pickled string beans or pickles, just anything, you know, crunchy and um, filling, like pickles. Um, then later on, I would have uh, a Subway sandwich. I usually have ham uh, and with cheese. And for sauce, I usually just have mustard or honey mustard. So that comes to about six points. And then later on, I would have... maybe like a bowl of noodle soup the kimchi ones again not the healthiest thing but um my goal is to just stay within my points so i would have one of those kimchi noodle soup that's eight points so that would be my biggest meal for the day and i'd have it with kimchi which is you know very very 
very little calories. Um, so yeah, those are a couple examples of what I would have in uh, in some days. Um, now for this pasta dish that I I have been eating a lot is uh, you can basically use any pasta you want. It's a sauce that's really good. But lately I've been using tortellini, um, the ones that's stuffed with three cheeses. Another one where it's stuffed with beef. Um, Oh, and when I have these pasta, it would be about maybe a cup. So it's not very much. So it's really good, but I obviously I can't have a lot of it either. So um, what I've been using is a tortellini stuffed with cheese or beef. Um, and for the sauce, what I do is, so after boiling the pasta, I quickly just transfer it to a bowl. Uh, after straining it, of course. And then I put... Um, sun-dried tomatoes. Now these are the sun-dried tomatoes that are in a jar with oil so it's it's uh, it's been soaked up in the oil already so I use that oil and the sun-dried tomatoes and use that to mix everything up and then after that I add in um, it's like a garlic powder but it's it's not just garlic there's other herbs in there but it's mainly used for I, don't, I get it from Costco but it's a jar of um garlic powder but it's I think you can use it for making you know garlic bread so you just mix it with butter and then uh, you get the taste of garlic bread so basically I use the the garlic powder and after that I put parmesan cheese just the, uh, the powdered ones and then I mix it all up and it's so good so so good so you guys have to try it. and then I would just have half a chicken breast along with that or you can even have it without the chicken breast or without the chicken so um, that's definitely something that I would totally recommend um, having for one of your meals or all of your meals so give that a try and um, I think that's everything I hope I gave you guys uh, you know, at least a, a little bit of ideas on uh, what to eat next time. So if you guys have any more questions, as always, feel free to comment below, send me a message, post a message on my profile, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye!